Easing House presents to you Last Life Feng Shui Series Part 1 The Living Room See you back, okay? Thanks for watching today's live, okay? Anyways, we're gonna start our life. You guys know that homes are super important. They serve many purposes like sleeping, eating, playing, watching, cooking, everything, right? So, we will use it even more now that we are working from home. I know that many of us are desperate to find ways to transform our homes to make it more livable, to make it more interesting, so that we can feel happier around our homes. So, today, as Asians especially, we're gonna share about something super interesting, which is called Feng Shui. Okay, so, anyways, my name is Hailey. <laughs> I'm not going to say the title for too long and I spill out very gently so that I might have to sound, okay? <laughs> well, my name is Hailey and I'll be your host tonight for Last Life! I know that many of us maybe know one or two things about Feng Shui that you can hear from others or like your auntie or your yeah. ama or stuff like that. And I'm not really an expert at it. So joining me today is someone is a very, very, very special co-host who's actually, literally, a master of Feng Shui. So, <laughs> so exciting, okay? And also, from 1st to 18th April, shoppers can look forward to several activities at the Come Home to Lazada pop-up space that expands over 12,000 square feet. So look at this again. This is all actually Lazada's pop-up area at the uh, Robinsons right now. So it's featuring their interior ideas for home of today, so shoppers will be able to explore various interior teams with consideration for smart home integration and dedicated spaces such as home office, study, as well as a gym. So when inspiration hits, right, select products can actually be purchased upon scanning the QR code. Which is what I'm saying, you see all the QR codes, you know, like around the area. So that actually links to the respective product pages to cut out on the Lazada air. This video laggy. Is it very laggy? See everyone poop sitting on the toilet bowl. <laughs> Good one. Okay. Wow, big place. Yeah, it's actually super big. So actually there's the whole store. It is very, very interesting. You guys can come and take a look yourselves. I hope you guys can hear me. I'll follow you guys. Okay, hello. <laughs> okay, so anyways, so shoppers will be able to enjoy the space really as well as check out the products on display and purchase online immediately, which is super cool. And then, you don't need to call your products here, you know. It'll be sent right to your doorstep. So it's really such a convenient way to shop with us. Okay, so for the full digital experience, if you do want to come down because it's still COVID, also check out the showroom because it is totally online on Lazada. Anyway, so right now, we're gonna go back to this area because it's very professional and I'm also gonna invite our VIP of the day which is Vincent. He has been 10 years in the Feng Shui arts, right? So we're gonna have him come out right now to introduce himself. Vincent! Woo! Hello! Hello! Hello everyone, I'm Vincent from Yijing House. Share your house Feng Shui. Wow! Okay, all the uh, I've got stories yes. okay, that you have heard we from your We have this session that we will do. Like, right. I think you always hear from your uncle, your auntie, your cousin. They really come very interesting. Yeah. Too so many schools and sects in uh, Feng Shui. Uh, when I say sex, I mean uh, S E C T S. Okay, Men Pai, Men Pai. Thanks for the clarification. Okay, not S E X. Uh. Thank you, Uncle. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. Um, <laughs> In, yeah. in Singapore, people, people commonly use the Flying Star system mm. but I will be using the ancient using method which mm. uses the Pakwa system mm. Pakwa system, actually that's yes. very interesting Correct. because the thing about Pakwa is that a lot of people know about Pakwa but don't actually know the details about Pakwa yes, that's true. So in this modern day and age, right, especially now that we're using so much technology it's really interesting to see how like this functionality of technology goes out with like, the ancient sayings and the scriptures and stuff like that and I also see a few comments saying, wow, Renan Wong says Wow, this is definitely up my leg, Eddie. For what freebie? I went but never give me a Lady. is on the bed right now, okay? My look's fine. So I think it's about the connection that you have as well, okay? So, <laughs> yes, it's the Papua system. Interesting, okay? So anyway, so I just want to say that um, we also have some vouchers to give away. So you can click over right here. Ta -da, ta -da, right here, right? To collect the $6 vouchers. Oh, if you watch this live, throughout the live, okay? So you can collect the vouchers over here. Limited quantities, okay, so six dollars off. Is that minimum spend? Uh yeah. Okay, five 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 dollar min fifty dollar minimum spend of oh, five dollar minimum spend six dollars off that'd be crazy, okay? So six dollars off right here, fifty dollars minimum spend. Okay. So anyways, this is really a very interesting guy. And I really can't wait to see how phones will apply into our modern day-to-day -day life. So let's ask the audience right here, okay? How many of you guys actually design your house based on feng shui knowledge, okay? 
So if it's you, comment down below, say it's me. If it's not, just say no, I don't, okay? So we just know and later we try to convince you about why feng shui is important. Okay, let's see. Half half. Someone say half half. I think mostly a lot of Singaporeans say half half. Uh, that's true, that's true, yeah. yes. Okay, Yang Kui say yeah, I do. Juvena say no, he, he say me, me. I tried. He tried me. I consulted. Wow, oh, actually a lot of people there. Mm. And I didn't know, because I think my generation, right, because I'm like 1999, so I'm like the young side, then I'm very here about Feng Shui. But I, I think it should be quite interesting. Yes. Yeah, yes. really very interesting. So anyways, right, can you tell me more about Feng Shui? We don't really know much about it. Okay, so uh, what is Feng Shui, right? It's basically the practice of arranging the pieces of your living spaces to achieve the balance of yin and yang. Okay, uh, we want to harness the energy forces to promote the hum harmony between you and your environment. Mm. And let me share this important concept on Cosmic Trinity. Mm. Okay, I think a lot of us have heard of this, this term called uh, Tian Di Ren. Heaven, Earth, Man. Oh, I think so. Yeah. Mm. 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 So, so it essentially means the right time, the right space, and the right person. And of course, doing the right thing. Mm. Okay, so today when we talk about Feng Shui, we are actually discussing on the Earth element, okay, of the Cosmic Trinity. Wow. Okay, so because Yi Fang, they say so is Di uh, La. Yes, correct, the Di Di. It's not about mm. the Tian, it's not about the Ren. Today we yeah. are just discussing on the Di itself. So, so a lot of people say actually Feng Shui is very important for the energy flow in the house, for happy relationships. And also, it's also about doing the right thing. So it's a balance of everything. Yes. I think it's about like Zhong Yong, you know, like finding the mean also. Yeah. So anyways, let me see what other comments we have. Yeah, a lot of people say Feng Shui important. Actually, really a lot of people try. I think a lot of people are quite interested. So the, I see the viewership, right? It's already at 1.2k. Okay, that's good, that's good. Okay. So anyways, would you just say that Feng Shui is like an urban cure or we should really practice it every day to stay safe. This is like a necessity and that does this energy force really is like real and affecting our lives at the moment. Okay, actually Feng Shui is really very real. Okay, it's a very important aspect mm. of our lives, whether you believe it or not. Mm. Okay, it's actually pure science and in current context we call it big data. He actually spent a lot of money in study about it. Oh, he, really, he studied quite deeply into this, so he really can share a lot. If you got question, right? Can also ask. We will try our best answer. Okay. <laughs> So, so yeah. I believe now, nowadays people heard of this term big data, right? So mm. actually in a way you can call us Feng Shui wow. masters, right? Data analysts wow. as well. Okay? Vincent so, analysts. And this data is actually yeah. collected by our ancient Chinese ancestors. Mm. Okay, but of course they did it a very hard way because there was no technology back then. Mm. At least now there's technology so you can even find out more about Feng Shui yes. than you need to. So anyways, now let's move over. Because we're gonna move over to our team reveal. And now that every of us, <laughs> and all of us, oh, I need a brief. <sighs> okay, so we are all of us are familiar with what Feng Shui is. Let's review which part of the house we are going to talk about today. Okay, comment below if you guys have any clue because I think it's a no shit Sherlock Holmes situation <laughs> back here. <laughs> right, so it is, I think this area of your house, right, is somewhere that you really will spend the most time at your house. So it is, comment below and let us know where is it at, okay, where, what are we going to talk about? So you know, there's like the living room. It's like the bedroom, it's a toilet, you know, stuff like that. So what is the room that we are talking about today? <laughs> Brenda will say, master bedroom! Bedroom, he does say bedroom. Yes, it is obviously the bedroom because we are listening to the bedroom now, okay? So, um, a lot of you guys came from... <laughs> the script say that a lot of you guys came from actually you all know the answer, okay? <laughs> so anyways, <laughs> you know, Bedroom is somewhere we will knock out for the weekend. Especially now it's Good Friday, uh. long weekend. Uh, we at home all day watching Netflix and stuff like that. So when we have nothing to do, we just lie on the bed and watch the day go by really quickly. <laughs> that only happens with people who know what. <laughs> but firstly, I think with the bedroom, uh, it's very important because you're sleeping in your room. So yes. the function and the energy must be, like, must be working so that you can get the suspicious feeling right, right. as well. Enough rest as well, yes. Like now you need a rest, right? <laughs> need a rest. So please, Vincent, take it away. Tell us more about the myths that we want to debunk. Okay, I think the first part we will try to debunk all the myths, okay, associated with bedroom feng shui, mm. and then afterwards I will share with you some tips on how you can change the current setup of your bedroom. Okay, very good. Thank you. <laughs> I see a lot of people just follow me. Thank you. Okay, so anyways, the first myth that we're going to debunk today is do not face the toilet. You all see, it's the toilet. Okay. So, 
the mean variable developed is that do not stick pacing as a lot because some older generation people say they will say it causes long periods of headache, ideological confusion as well as a lack of concentration. But personally, like the only reason why I can think of people who want to put the toilet right in front of the bedroom uh, is that they really wake up in the morning. Like wake up at night, right? If you need a pee, you drink a lot of water at night. Then you wake up, then you gong gong, you want to lose that sleep feeling. So you like, oh, walk to the bedroom very right? fast. So like, faster come back to sleep. Yeah. This is what happens to me lah. My bedroom is not in my room, sadly. Me or Tian. Okay, but anyways, that is my only reason to think of why I would want to have a toilet right on top of my, I mean, right in front of my bed. Yeah, but what do you think about that actually? So is it true? Is the not putting the toilet in front of the bed true? Okay, to, for the bed to face the toilet, actually it mm. sounds super convenient, right? Like what you said, okay? Mm. So actually, for the myth, right, it is totally untrue. Okay, mm. the real reason, okay, why you shouldn't sleep facing the toilet is because it's filled with germs and bacteria, okay? So that is the real concern here. So if you want to do that, yeah. please go ahead. No, 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 say, the toilet germs. So, so yeah. yeah, it's actually common sense, correct? Mm. So actually, if you want, just go ahead and sleep facing the toilet as long as you, you close, close the, the door, door properly. Yeah, yeah, but guess what? There's no door, so <laughs> the showroom got problem. <laughs> Kidding, okay. This is just showroom, but I think here we will actually have a door. I think it's really important to have a door, la, and most people will have. Yes. Not imagine me. She, you touch all, right? That's why I never wait Spray around the whole room, it would be damn disgusting. Okay, so yeah, it's actually really nice to know that's true, and also, can you let us know how many of you guys keep your toilet door open or do you actually close it? Do you actually open it or close it? This only applies to people who have a seat for Ah, true. Yeah. I usually I, close it la, when I sleep. Of course we will close it. Which yeah. room no germs? Ha, ha. But toilet have more germs. Because we can put it And then even like, you know sometimes the water, like the water damage from the toilet, right? Or like the water vapor around the toilet. If you bring to the room, it could damage the food as well. So just close the door lock. I think it's very simple. Yeah. So let us know. You actually close open your toilet door. And should this actually apply everywhere in the house or just for bedrooms? Uh, actually think. for toilet doors, I would think <laughs> for the hygiene the sake. Yeah. I would think everywhere in the house. You should do it. Correct, correct. That's correct. My fridge got a lot of bacteria due to Yakult. That's a bad then joke, should, man. Should, should stop buying Yakult. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Does it? Um, yes, because Haley is sleeping. Yeah man, that's why I got sit on food. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, let's move on to the next myth. I think the questions, right? It's about a lot of like, yeah, of course, you know. So let's move on to the next question. Wait, I mean the next myth. So the second myth we're going to deny is that we should not sleep under a beam. So at first I was confused as well because I didn't know what was going on. So a beam is actually, right, sometimes, you know, some big rooms they have like the, the additional level over here which kind of blocks your ceiling contact. Yeah. So it's said that if you sleep with a beam above you, you can feel a sense of pressure that could cause insomnia as well as a horrible headache. And some people even think that the beam is a reason for their sleep paralysis. Yeah, it's like not a demon, but it's like the beam like oh yeah, so whatever was saying what's all that kind of feeling lah. But in all seriousness, I think it is not. Paralysis is actually like a scientific problem. And maybe some people can feel a little bit claustrophobic because of the ceiling closing in on there or something. So actually what do you think about this one? Okay, so for sleeping under the beam, I have personally slept mm. under a beam before and as you can see, I'm perfectly fine and I had enough sleep before coming to this live stream. Yeah. And in fact, okay. I think like the beam design can be quite cool. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you can paste some sticker or what we put on it. Yeah, right, yeah. right, right. It's not it, sleeping, sleep below ceiling fan, okay. Uh, we will come to that later. Yeah, yeah it's not on that part. Yeah, yeah, correct, you correct, must correct. remember, I will forget. Correct, correct. We will come okay, to that okay. later. Okay. Mm. So this myth of sleeping under the beam is not real. Okay, but I can understand for some people, uh, they feel stressed or pressurized, like what you say, they feel that the, 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 the room is closing in on them, right? So, yeah, correct. So if that is the case, then please sleep away from it. Mm. But that has nothing to do with Yeah, it, this is more like a personal psychological problem. Correct, correct. Yeah. And in fact, I think some people like, they prefer lower to mm. because it feels more safe. Especially, I would say for the the more elderly one, they, mm. the, 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 yeah, the Amo, Ama Akong era, they will always oh, you say, like, cannot, uh, you cannot sleep under the beam yeah. and stuff like this. But right? you know, like when you say, and then I say, Japan, the ceiling is very low. It's a kind of touch on it. Okay, okay. But actually, we feel very secure. I feel like, oh, how cozy, like, I feel like, 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 like,
childhood, how you grew up, you know. So like if you grow up not getting used to like the bean design, when you have the bean design suddenly you may feel like a claustrophobic feeling. So it really depends on your upbringing and how... Personal like, preference. Yeah, personal right. preference. Great. Okay. So let's move on to bound three. So another one. Very interesting. So I never hear before. Already. Is it bad for bedroom doors to face one another? So like for example, I open a door that I see a door here. So apparently this will bring many disputes and disaster between whoever who's living in those two bedrooms. And that to me, right? Especially if it's my two kids, it will be a huge disaster. <laughs> so I don't know if people dare to take this risk. I personally never heard about this before. And in my, in my house, okay, there's no door facing each other. But in my boyfriend's house, there's But okay lah, I think we all want to so this really, I think it's case by case kind of basis. So let us know, what do you think about this? Okay, it's actually not case by case. The move mm -hmm. is actually untrue. Okay, he's not doing anything else but making people paranoid about uh, training their family relationship. It's more like right, me or what then it's to make a Correct, correct. So yeah. in, in fact I think it's a whole lot easier mm. okay for you to just open the door and say hi to the family member if they're staying directly opposite. Correct, correct. Yeah. yeah. In fact I think right, because I'm very close to my sister. I think if we have like big room steps side to side. We will be spending a lot of time together in a good way. Yeah. And also got some people ask more questions. Um, which direction should we place the aircon against the bed? Oh we will cover that okay. as later as okay, well. We will cover yes. also. Right, right, okay. Right. We'll cover all of these later. Keep the attention. So the same five questions in the aircon. Aircon, yes. Okay. So um also I got a good question to ask you all. So if you could choose a family member to sit opposite your bedroom, which family would you choose? And also your dogs are counted. Let us know. Which one would you choose? Comment below and let us know. Okay? Wow, so Miss Lee said, can Feng Shui help to be as pretty as Hailey? Wow, okay, you got kiss me. Okay, can I ask why if your house door face the staircase is that Feng Shui? Why? Why if your house door face the staircase is that Feng Shui? Is it? I didn't know. It is subjective, okay, but this is not a topic that we will cover today. Mm, I, think, I think that kind of must really go and consult. Correct, correct. Yeah, but it's also, you know, you can see the floor plan before you buy the house. Mostly, we think you are new around here. So, you can choose based on that, lah, I would say. Okay. I was, uh, I will choose my mom because I like to see her neck at me. <laughs> you like to see her neck at you? Why? If I, if I have a dog in front of my mom, I think we really will have a terrible relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be. I wouldn't want that as well. <laughs> you don't want that. Okay, next round 4, okay, good comment though, very funny, okay. Round 4, the last bit that we're gonna debunk today, it is, is it okay plants in the bedroom? You see, we've got plants in the bedroom here. Let's see the plants in the bedroom here. <laughs> and then we also have plants there, okay. So, is this okay? Because some people say that plants are very much alive, full of high energy, so that you can actually disrupt your sleep. And also, some people also say that like because plants are like alive creatures and they move around, it's not good to sleep with something that actually moves. So I think this car is like very sus. So what do you think about this one? Okay, so the truth is that is the truth. It's the truth. The last one okay. is true. Okay. You really shouldn't put plants in your bedroom. I really like eh. You know, I like like the Scandinavian aesthetic. <laughs> then like it's like oh, hanto eh. Then we kind of plants are there. So yes, yes, yes. aesthetic, you know. We have many gardeners yeah. and farmers in there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so yeah. actually from a health perspective, we all know mm. that during photosynthesis, like okay, the plants take in oxygen and mm. compete with the oxygen we take in also. So if you want to sleep with your windows, doors all shut during the night, that is really a bad thing. Mm. Okay. Alternatively, okay, if you really want it for aesthetics, you can opt for fake plants as well. Mm. Yeah, fake plants. Actually, yeah. I think fake plants is better. You just need to clean with a cloth. Uh. You don't, don't have to water. water. You don't have to, yeah, you no, don't have to care I, about the health status I of the plant. I had a baby cactus in my room. Oh. It died after a week. Eh. <laughs> I, I got full of water. You cactus? Know, it's like, yeah. Oh, to, to, to let a cactus die is not easy. <laughs> tell me about it. My mother scold me. She said, yeah, you can't tell me what you're talking about. Then I tell me what you're talking about. You're talented. You're talented. See, I got talent to destroy things. My talent. So a lot of people actually uh, uh so so I actually go and reply. So I say my house door face a staircase, been living there for 30 years, no issue. So I think this one is really subjective. And also like how you feel about that. Yeah, I think it's a matter of how you feel and how you act around the area or so. Okay. Anyways, um okay, well I got one good question. So if you feel that plants are not good to keep in your bedroom, what about animals? Do you think that they should be sleeping with us? 
Well, you can. Of course, we all know that there are many animal lovers in Singapore. People rear pets like Actually, dogs. Actually, very cute. Cats. Yeah. Uh, so I used to have a dog as well. Uh, we used to, we have a dog here too. <laughs> <laughs> so right, your dog yeah, yeah, can be yeah, in your room. Yeah, yeah, can, can, can. No problem. Oh my god! Well, this is a this is a German Shepherd, right? I think it's German. I, I by the way, I recently got a Shiba. <laughs> so cute! I love him so much. His name is called Chestnut, by the way. You can go follow him on Instagram. It's called at Chestnut the Shiba. Go check it out. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anyway, enough of talk shop. Okay, we're gonna move on to listen to some tips from the master because I can see by the comments that a lot of people also want some tips. Oh, okay. So let's move on to the tip section, and we also very tired. Ah, so we go take a seat. Okay. No, it's okay. <laughs> okay, let's chill. Okay, let's go into round one. Okay, so what are some tips that you can share with us? I think one, the first one is the decluttering. Correct, correct, correct. Okay. So, um, the first one, uh, the first tip I'm going to tell you is to uh, declutter underneath your bed. Okay, I know some of you at home have a storage bed uh, because you're trying to make more space uh, for your things. Okay, but it's not great uh, and uh, if you want to sleep, sleep well at night. Okay. Okay, so in Feng Shui, uh, some of you may have heard of this term called Qi. Mm. You know, like Qi Gong, mm. like Gui Pai. Okay, okay, no, no, okay, that's lame. Okay. <laughs> so, so actually, we yeah. want Qi to be circulating around the, the, the room for better Feng Shui. Don't fail, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit uh, so, so we need the tea to be circulating around the room for better feng shui. That's mm. why it's important to uh, declutter the underneath of your bed. Okay, and uh, best to leave it empty. Mm. Okay, but if you have no choice due to the ever yeah, ever yeah, correct. Yeah. And if you have no choice due to the ever shrinking home sizes nowadays, mm. and if you need to get a storage bed or you need to keep some stuff below your bed, please uh, keep it neat. Mm. Okay, um, and. If the okay, so so if the underneath of your bed is messy or cluttered, okay, it normally leads to two scenarios. Okay, number one is health issues, and especially so for couples who have been trying for babies without success. I think this is where you can start off. Imagine if I clear them, what it guys? Suddenly the two two line right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So so uh, it will be good for the couples to try to clear clear this portion first, okay? Mm. And uh, secondly, the second scenario it, it uh, usually leads to the possible attraction of uh, small people. You know why? You know why? Small people. Small people. Xiaoren. Oh yes, correct. Okay. But Xiaoren is like too hard, right? Correct, correct. So if it's yeah. messy and cluttered, mm. this is the, you have the, the you will possibly attract this kind of people. Yeah. Oh. So so you know like backstabbers or people who. Uh, Wow. Or bad or, or, or backstab you behind uh, or gossip behind your back. Thank God. Yeah, correct, correct. So, so I actually say, right, I have a good question. Um, okay. My husband say must look at my parts and his parts to position the bit. Of course, today we are sharing more on the Hi, Stan. generic part. Okay, that is the more advanced and expert part. Yeah, right. yeah correct, yeah, right, correct, like correct, correct. Really correct. Must, I think case by case basis. Correct, correct. But is it true? Like, we really have a cut part? Really have to come back. Oh, it's more like. Wait, put your thumb, you put your thumb. Yeah, yes, it's 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 uh added value, uh, value added value. It's like you get additional, like additional Correct. homework. That's how they you know. So yeah. it's like if you do the feng shui, it's ba shi fen already. But if you add in the 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 ba shi element, then it becomes chu shi fen. Wow, you see, you see. Okay, you want to get eight star, right? Then you must go and clean. Okay, then you go and check the ba shi. And also, if you guys are worried about not having a proper place to keep all your belongings that you have been conveniently hidden under the bed, just like all the skeletons under the closet, okay? You can actually surf through the Zara right now to shop for all of your like, you know, home organization needs and everything like that. Because the Zara actually has tons of storage options for you guys to choose from. And you can see right now here, right, there's already a few of that storage options for you to something like the bedside cable to the really nice clothing rack, especially if you like those that like Parisian bags, right? I think this kind of clothing bag is very, very suitable. Very, very pretty. And there's even photo frames as well. So, there's really so many different things that you can look at right now. And also, if you're interested in all these products, you can either check out on online on our showroom. We have an online showroom. Or you can also come down to our store at Robinson's Level 3, next to PS Cafe at Rapport City to try to check it out also, okay? Okay, let me read through comments. Okay. Brandon, I spent everything. 
Yeah, this uh, you are called Brendan. He's very very good at like, a lot of things. He knows the general knowledge is very hard. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let me see. Yeah, well, actually a lot of things that say. He goes to his home. Robinson's still around. This one is, I think, it is at a Robins. He just basically third floor next to PS Cafe. Okay. So I think we can move on to our round two because I cannot find any questions yet. You can see there, I'll find. Okay. Okay. So what is round two about? I think so round two is. Yeah, for my second tip, okay, mm -hmm. I know some of you like to keep your house very bright, including your bedrooms, uh, because you are afraid of the, the supernatural stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Hey, you know, I sleep in the light corners. Oh, like, I, I will on like my fairy lights, then I sleep on because I'm scared. So so yeah, so she's she's yeah. she's one of those typical ones. Okay. Yeah. Or or some some of you may just want to make your house more uh, your bedroom seems more inviting. Okay, but it is actually not good to have a bedroom that is too bright. Mm. Okay, so um why is it not, not good to have an overly mm. bright bedroom? Right? Okay, so remember the first part where we mentioned uh, home shui is about the balancing of yin and yang. Mm. Okay, so a bedroom is actually considered the yin sector of a house where you don't want too much yang energy okay mm. so it's the it place sense. where we rest and recuperate correct mm. yeah like, like here right yeah, yeah. Correct. okay well, it feels a bit sleepy now okay so too much the bed is very comfy <laughs> yeah, 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 the bed is very comfy <laughs> okay. Okay. too much yang yeah. energy will actually disrupt the rest mm. okay and over time you may develop insomnia or even other health issues mm. so just keep enough lights for you to navigate through your room okay mm. Uh, don't make it like a photo studio, okay? Mm. You see, so someone actually said brightness affects the yang. So what will happen if the bedroom window faces the east side? I think it's, east side. Because the east side, I think it's the where it's the most bright. Okay. I think it should be okay, right? As long as you can yeah. black out curtains. Or oh, you can, yeah, you can use <laughs> curtains to control the lighting in yeah, the you house. Like, right? you also, this leads me perfectly to say that the church is going to go completely dark. And also Lazada actually has many different regions from lamps, like the more moody, like mood lighting kind with like different black out curtains for your room so we also have many very cute light lamps light lamps night lamps how pronounce it okay so there are many variations of lamps online from clothing moon to a sunset or night sky projection oh my god recently on tiktok i got this new trend so the people will buy like sunset lamps so the lamp right like the light that shines out right looks like sunset oh okay. Okay. very very cool i think they all have yang qi Maybe. And it's, it, it, I think it will look very soothing, correct? Very yeah. soothing. Or even like flower shaped lamps, or even regular like aesthetic lamps as well. La. So you can go on um, our platform, search for it, and find it. So this will really add like some personal and like a more homey touch so that you can move for a second. Yeah, so um, let's see. Come <laughs> on, say, I ha ha, Joc Jocelyn, my husband likes everything dark, but I like everything bright. <laughs> My boyfriend so you like like a very dark wood, you know like the dark table top together. I, I want like the Scandinavian, like clean, bright apartment. So we're both very different. Um, okay, that one used curtain. I actually got studied as well, but so long, never practiced so a lot of Actually, a lot of people got studied uh, at home shoes before. All of our neighbors, so it's quite interesting. Right? Yeah, okay, let's move on to our bomb three. So it's about ventilation. Yeah. So the third tip for you is to make sure there is natural light and air coming into your bedroom. Mm. Uh, I know for some of you who are watching, uh, you are very different from the people that I talked about in the previous point. You mm. are very secretive about your bedrooms, you like to keep it all dark, uh, like, 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 like those dark rooms where you develop photos. Okay. So uh, this is actually not a good practice as much as you think it is. Okay. Uh, mm. Firstly, I think it's really for hygiene purpose. The natural sunlight and air will help your room to be better ventilated. Okay, I, I feel like I think this problem during like circuit breaker. Because you know, you stay at home the whole day. Correct. It's not, not necessary to open the window or anything. And then like, during circuit breaker, my, my schedule of sleeping right, is like, I wake up at 5pm and I sleep at like 7 pm wow. That was my schedule. It was so bad for me eh. And then, because I like that, I feel like a bit sad and depressed. Because I'm going to cry every day. It's like aircon all day. You may have to go go. Yeah, you may have to go go. It's really like, 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 after second week, I was super obvious. Like, it's hard to turn it on, which is what I'm going to do. Yeah, yeah. But I think it really got a fair, and then have to ventilate the room. Every time like, in the morning now, when I wake up, I will like, open a window, just let some sunlight in. Correct, correct. It really makes a difference. This is like, 
even if like you have your windows and your windows are like the tie that have sunlight in, like, it's still not the same as when you open the window. Yes, really yes, got different. Yes, really, yes. really, really, I feel the difference. Correct, correct. Yeah. Like, like you say, the energy from the sun is actually very important in the feng shui aspect mm. because it's the purest form of yang energy. Mm. Okay. Remember and the. Other than yeah. other than that, I was thinking. Okay, so if your house have like the funny smell, or like for example, your bedroom have the musty smell, right. you can also buy some like diffusers yeah. or like some scent products or candles from Lazada because I think we also have the same. Yeah. Mm. But what oh, oh, you want to say? Well, okay. So the previous point, the previous point we talked about is actually the, the bedroom is a yin sector, okay. But all yin and no yang uh, will, will create an imbalance as well. Therefore, it's important to allow this yang energy to enter your bedroom. Also, if you have stayed in the, this kind of dark environment for too long, firstly, uh, of course, you will be deprived of vitamin D, yeah. okay. Mm. And secondly, it will create other health issues and from my experience, it usually cause some form of mental health issues or social interaction issues. Wow. Uh, well, well, I'm not saying you will go all crazy and be admitted to IOH, uh, not the case, okay? But you may experience some symptoms of mild anxiety, easily stress or yeah, pressure. Really correct, some correct, correct. Some is very important. Some exposure really makes a difference. You start to interact less with people. It's you know, it's kind of like, uh, like on a day out, like, you know, one to pay out also. Like, like, whenever I need an effort to go out and see the sun and interact with people, my mood is really So, this is why I think it's about the yang tea as well. So, in the daytime, it's very important to like, expose yourself to sunlight. Like, I think that's, I really, really need to do that. So, our producer finally, because she was following a green bar, then her hands super, super sweat. Now we finally have a tripod for our phone, okay? Hope you guys can hear our phone, okay? So this brings us to the idea of Kimba and phone. So it brings us to the next line, which is no phone. So why is it or not? Okay, so yeah. my the last tip that I have for all of you is to keep electronics away from the bed. Mm. Okay, I'm pretty sure this applies to everyone, you, me, okay, included. Um, that, that, that is very common because normally now before we sleep we are usually surfing on the social media timeline mm. or chatting with somebody that you really like mm. okay, uh, so getting that phone away from the bed before you sleep is easier than so yeah, hard okay, uh, I cannot uh, I, I, I feel so late yeah I also have to admit that I'm guilty of it as well and right now I'm with TikTok wow oh, it's the worst because you're like the algorithm is keep that in use as well you watch one video right you know I always like scroll a bit and I want to half very happy. It's only like two hours past. I was like, wow, from 1am, I thought I could sleep early to like 3am now. It's not me that, okay, I will stop at the last one and it just goes on and on. No, I'll be like, yeah, okay. No, I was always seeing the timing. Then I'll be like, okay, so now it's 8.34. Then I'll be like, okay, 8.40, I'll stop. Then the next one, I'm like, 8.50, okay. Then 9 o'clock, I'll stop. Then it's just like continue. Right, yeah. So anyways, um, all of these, right, I have a solution for you guys. You know, we have, okay, Lazada also has like a few possible chance, not possible, like those, um, you know, like non-essential chance that you can use. Okay, so for example, if you just put your thing here. Wireless charger. Yeah. <laughs> Non-wired charger, wow, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's called. Wow, it's really good. Wireless charger. Oh, my wireless charger. Oh, my wireless charger. Okay. I hope no one catches that. Okay, but anyway, there's a lot of wireless charger out there, right? You can put the wireless charger away from your phone. So, for example, you put it here, like at the side. See, I put it at the side here. So you put your phone there. Instead of, you know, mostly all, all of us, we will put our phone charging ports at the big side table. So if you want to not use your phone that much at night, just put it over there, leave your phone there, then like get a book or something here. So don't put your charger here. This is an advice I'll take from Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't want to talk about like, uh, Hailey too excited. Hailey, <laughs> don't know how to say wireless charger. Hailey, they're jealous. Oh my god, cannot. Okay, I think sometimes I say, so usually I keep the room, the room neutral and I saturate using furniture and others. Lord, oh, they know. <laughs> yeah, don't shame me. Okay, I'm sorry. Very tired. My phone is so tired. Okay, so I'm going to talk about bed sheet and pillow case. They are having a whole conversation in the comment section also. I feel like I cannot keep track. Hey Brandon, can you all give me like a like a summary of what you are talking about? So I can keep track and know what is happening. <laughs> See, they are really just all talking. So I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm gonna move on now. Okay, so this actually brings us to our next segment of today's live. Should we hit the pole here? Okay, hit the pole here. Okay, so the 
the next segment right is about updating your setup. So you guys can see we are in a very very aesthetic phase right now. So we are actually going to tell you about a few things on how you can upgrade your setup to make it look more peaceful, to make it look more pleasant to the eyes as well as to help with the feng shui. So we'll start off with the most important part of a bed which is not most important. I think most important is natural. But another thing that's very important is actually the headboard. So it's the why is the headboard and why is it important? So having a headboard is actually good. Uh, it's an advice. That's a headboard by the way. Yeah. I'll show you all. Okay. So if you guys don't know what is the headboard, this thing on top is the headboard. Yeah. Also, I went to grab Lazzy. He was not here, he was actually there. <laughs> then I went to grab him because I need things to hug, you know. Yeah, I do like how I share his scare. So, got Lazzy here. Let's go. Okay. So, let's talk more about headboards. So, it actually signifies having uh, support and it also enhances your nobleman luck, your feel and with. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Because some people sleep or with bed, without headboard. Yeah. Wow. So, 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 you should get a bit with headboard. Very interesting. I never know about that because you know I always watch like those YouTube tour. Then it's always like college edition that kind. Then it, they always have without headboard because it's cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll invest in the headboard yes. Yeah. And headboard should also be resting against the wall, mm. uh, like like this. Okay. Uh, not mm. a window. Not resting against a window. Okay. When I say window here, I'm talking about the full length window. Uh, something like like, like this. This, like this kind, kind of window. This kind of window. Okay. So the. the yeah. If it's not a full length window, uh, it's perfectly fine. Okay. And some people are also concerned with the headboard resting against the wall of a toilet behind or kitchen behind. Uh, actually, both are perfectly fine unless you can feel the heat from the kitchen mm. or you are uh, always disturbed by the constant flushing noises. Mm. Interesting. And so, I just want to, anyway, the summary for us really. You see that talking about feng shui and the colors in the room. Hmm? The like, pink colors in the room matter. Uh, yes. Okay. It, yeah. I think it will matter a lot like, right. because it is like, for example, right, in my room is in a deep red, the feeling will be so like a white. Right. They don't really wear like, Actually, I wanted to talk about this in the, the upcoming series, like, right, since somebody asked. Yeah, then you can touch yeah, right, Actually, right. I'm really quite curious to say. Okay, so, yeah. uh, my advice to my clients and my friends usually is to keep uh, 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 the, the same, color, same color tone throughout the, the house. Throughout the house. Correct. Oh, interesting. Yeah, then that will make things easier. Because if you want to, for example, if you want bedroom one to be pink, uh, then bedroom two to be green, a living room to be yellow, then that one probably you need to seek professional advice because you mm. really got to, to, to get the correct color like, for the correct background. Like the hair, right? You right. must make it hair. So when you, when you do it in a uniform way, right, uh, that, then it doesn't cause so much problem. Mm. Right? So you can just Okay, it's so really sick. Oh my god, my husband changed the position of the bed because he said he cannot sleep behind the window. So really true, eh? Yeah. 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 Okay, now we're going to move on to ground two, which is also very, very important in the bedroom. And some, both people actually just thought about it. Which is yeah. aircon and fan condition. Correct, correct. This one really matters because Singapore weather very hot. Uh. Most, of the, most of us stay in aircon also because we want like the young, young food. Correct. So, how to, you know, put that? And logically, I will always put it like, I don't want to put it directly above my bed. Like, I don't want to put it directly above my bed because it's kind of loud. Yeah. But it's also important that you put it somewhere where the furniture put it down. So, yeah. you can really get an advantage. Actually, really bad, but it's uh, not from a poultry perspective, it's more from a health perspective. In actually, uh, in Chinese TCM, we believe that the cold air enters through the feet. Uh, that is why you see... Uh, correct, correct, correct. Yeah. That, that is why, that's why, to give you all the small feet, okay. yeah. uh, you, you often see many Chinese uh, uh, wearing slippers at home. This is very common in China, Taiwan, Hong Kong. Okay, not, not, not common in Singapore, but I will seriously uh, advise you to consider wearing that. Very, very soft. Wearing slippers at home. Slippers at home? Yeah, so to prevent the cold air from entering your feet. Wow, okay. That's TCM, that's not actually. Mm. But TCM and Tongshui is in the room. It's very, very high. Uh, China, 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 Taiwan, 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 Taiw
And just now somebody asked about the ceiling, ceiling fan, fan, right? Very good question. So ceiling fan above you, uh, it is also perfectly fine to have it this way, but I personally don't like it. It's personal preference, lah. Mm. Okay, I find it too disturbing, and I never like ceiling fans. I, 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 I find them scary. I also find them. Unless yours is like the one that you know, like the new model one. Okay. You know the model one, right? It's like the Uno like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like some old school. Or or some were close up. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one, okay, that one I think quite cool. But most of the time, okay, see right, for example, you play the bit or whatever, then imagine your poster right, like, pumped out the ceiling fan, like, So I think it's just a bit more like a safety hazard, a bit dangerous, and then, no, you sit down, and then you have a ceiling fan, it could cause shadow that goes around the room. <laughs> Yeah. I cannot tahan, I'll be scared. Uh, <laughs> I also cannot tahan, so yeah. big no no for me. Mm. But if it's okay for you, then let's then, then go ahead. Mm. Yes, nothing mm. wrong about it. So this way is also personal. Uh, okay, so Tilly can help us. If your parts end up, your bed faces window, what do you do? I think this is a very good question. <laughs> We're not yeah. able to ask. I mean, we don't have time. Mm -hmm. la, yeah, okay, maybe because I think you're really very curious. So, is there like a way to go about this? A way to go about this? Or like, this, what should you do if that happens? Like, consult or something? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I think the answer from the master is the kind of Because, part is the kind of thing. You have to talk in the part, then you can accept. Correct. Yeah. Because today we are covering more on the generic portion. Yeah. yeah. I think a lot of the very. Like the tougher pressures to ask, they are tougher because they are possible. So you need to have proper advice. And then, and then someone also asked, Chan Siu okay. King, if bedroom if bedroom below is car park or pathway, yeah. here is that, how do you overcome this? If bedroom <laughs> below, okay, I think she said that it's bad. Uh, she heard that it's bad, that it's downstairs of your bedroom, right? It's like the car park or pathway. Is that, is that bad? Uh, if you have a choice, uh, don't choose that, okay? But if you don't have a choice, you got to live with that, but it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Not that bad. Okay. So but the personally, my bedroom, uh, the, the underneath is also a cup up. Oh, it's also a cup up. Maybe like, if you're worried about that, maybe you can shift the bed position to somewhere that's a little bit away from the pathway. Yeah, maybe that could be a solution. Or you try to yeah. park your bed, position your bed in a way that uh, the the cup up part where the cars are stationary, not the not the moving lanes. Yeah. Mm. Oh. So you, oh that's a good one, that's yeah. a good one. Yeah, so don't put it in a moving lane, put it in a stationary area. Oh, so the reason why people don't like because of the luminal, is it because of like, who can you even see top it's the It's the same theory that goes back to the T. Is it the same theory as the, who can you come see that? In a way, yeah, correct. So it's it's like, similar, correct, of that, of that song. Wow, wow I, I learned a lot from this line. Because I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm like a total rookie. It's quite interesting, okay. And last but not least, Sleeping position, not last one, I think it's got more okay, but sleeping position. Mm. Sleeping position. What about this? For yeah. sleeping position, I think the first tip is if you have a super large room, mm. please do not place it, please do not place, place your bed in the middle of it. Mm. You know this time when they did sleeping position, I thought me, Tong Shui, they all sleep. They all sleep. Sleep on the left side, sleep on the right side. No, no, no. no. The bed position, bed position. Oh, okay. yeah, because for me, right, I think I'll put a bit on the base of where it goes. Which may not be the best case, correct. So, so yeah. So, what do you think? Uh, oh, so, oh, so you say if it's a super large room, you can't face it in the middle. But, but most of us wouldn't say face this problem. Because not this, yeah. Uh, room all face super small. So small, yeah. Why? 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 Okay, just now I remember the part where I mentioned the cake box is like, it's a support, it's a support, it's a super man. So, imagine, yeah. In, in, the, in the super large room, the bed is not middle. It's it also akin like there is no support, you see. You are like DIY all by yourself. There is no help from, from any of the sectors. Yeah. So that's why we advise against it. Yeah, yeah. But I, I understand that like, some people they will cook because it's like Because you know it looks cool in the middle. Normally, like, you, normally you will see that in the movies. Like, yeah. But I, I think, especially for, you know, we all live in smaller houses, right? Especially in Singapore. It's not very possible. And also, every time you can start to the wall. Correct. You know, like, the right, that's why I have for my room. It's like why or or have done so I need to like put the poster by the bit uh then I have the wall here the poster here guys. <laughs> and with all the lights on. <laughs> no, I only all the fairy lights above. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and also oh Yeah, and next yeah. uh 
do not sleep underneath a staircase. Mm. Usually, it only happens in mentioning on loft units. Okay, it will cause health issues. So please do not do it even to your domestic helper. Okay, mm. you need them to be healthy also, right? Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because sometimes they keep their room like good reputation, right? Correct. Yeah. Correct. So don't sleep underneath a staircase, like Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, but why ah? Uh, why under service? I think last question. Yeah, open door. Why cannot? Yeah. Uh, normally it is in a weird shape and, and it's very enclosed, so the seat of the space is definitely no good in the first place. Correct. It's also like the position of the vegetation. You yeah. definitely don't see sun there, right? Mm. Yeah, for, yeah. for sure that's one. And then the last one is the red against yeah. wall. So means like, for example, there's a door here and then there's a wall. So you can double the bit on the... For example, if there is a... Uh, a door here. Mm -hmm. Let's say, let's say, let's say this part is the door, mm. or your bed is facing the door. Mm. Okay, it's actually no problem. Okay, so uh, feng shui wise, no problem. But if you are light sleeper, then big problem. Like. <laughs> yeah. People open door, open door, no, then you. I, I feel that you know if you have a door here, then your bed's here. No, I'm trying to uh, For me la, I'm very yeah, scared, you, you, I'm you, you, you are the milk anchen kawan la. Those milk anchen kawan, that is perfectly yeah. fine. Yeah, so yeah, if you're secure, then okay la. Okay. 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 So let's look at other miscellaneous furniture. Okay, so where should we place other types of furniture that people might not usually have in their bedroom? Just because everyone doesn't have it, right? Doesn't mean that you should, you know, like we should still talk about it, okay? So firstly, let's talk about TV. Okay, so, uh, the most important strategically correct location to place your TV or projector. Is at the south, southwest, and northeast sector of your room. So how, how do you do it right? For example, this is the room, right? Mm. So you take a compass in this room, okay? And you know that this is the, for example, this is the south sector. So you just so so this this place will be the place where you place your TV or southwest or northeast, correct? Mm. Why ah? Uh? Wow, this one is really why. This one is uh. <laughs> This one is the, is, 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 is the balancing of, not, not in Yang already, it goes a step further, it's one of the five elements mm -hmm. who sing, sing Rose Rainbow. Oh, I think uh, I think I think yeah. This one is like, you think I see it, then how you do it is like that. Correct, correct. Yeah. So I repeat again, the, the, the proposed sector to place your TV projector is at South, Southwest and Northeast. South, Southwest, Northeast. Okay, maybe someone can write it down. Okay. Oh, this is a good question. Well, it's very interesting. Okay, so you also ask, is it true? Husband is better to sleep on the left side, woman on the right side. <laughs> okay, in short, <laughs> okay, the, the short answer is no. No. Mm. Okay, why? So now must go the long answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, okay, maybe after the line, then you go to the part. Okay, short, short. Answer. Oh, you're curious, eh? Yeah, yeah, let me, let me it's not so much about social media, right? Because there are other considerations yeah, like, the, the right side, like, the left side, like the... But maybe after you get married, you all change? Oh, I'm still on the right, right? Because it's the wall. <laughs> I like the wall. <laughs> okay. A good one, though. Good question. Very good question. Thanks, QT. Another one is mirror. Okay, so... Mirror. Yeah, yeah for, for those who are vein and wants to place a mirror in the bedroom unlike me mm. uh, one should be a uh, mirror okay so <laughs> it's <I don't> <laughs> <laughs> wait wait where's my energy <laughs> so so it's good to place it in the north northwest and west sector of your bedroom okay i repeat okay. it's in the north northwest and west sector of your bedroom north northwest and west sector yes okay so i will learn and, and lastly, for people yeah. who like to put lamps in the, in the bedroom, okay, like Himalayan yeah. salt lamp, cartoon lamps. Oh yeah, lamps. I'll ask you, because I've read this YouTube video, they say Himalayan salt is quick. You know what like the lamp, the lamp, you actually take one. Is it true or not? Is it true or not? That one I also don't know. I studied also. <laughs> I never studied Himalayan salt. So, okay. you must I ask the... I thought I don't know like a cheat thing, you know. You must ask the Himalayan salt expert. Okay, yeah. then I might have five days. One question. <laughs> the producer is like, take the paper for the TV. <laughs> Okay, wrong question. No, I'm very, very curious. 
Huh? So for the labs, I haven't told oh. them the di- I haven't told them the direction. They were waiting, waiting, then <laughs> what? okay. Then they were shifting the lamps halfway then they okay you really say stop and go back. Okay, bye, 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 bye. So I say what? Today become a planning session eh. Oh my god. So for the lens, okay. Today you first can say shy since I wow he leaves. Okay, okay. Uh, it's good to put in the uh, south, southwest, and northeast sector. Okay, mm. so it applies to candles too for those who like aromatherapy. Mm. Mm. South, southwest, northeast, northeast, northeast. Remind me of MRT lines. <laughs> okay, so let me know if there's any other questions. Okay. Oh wow, how about paintings? Yeah. How about paintings? Where can we place paintings? Can we place paintings? And are there any specific paintings? Uh, okay, there are. I would say there are. Mm. Okay, uh, if your painting is the colorful type, I would say you can place it in the same sectors, but. Uh, uh, this is not exactly colorful. I think this is more colorful. Yeah. Yeah. So so it will be good to place it in the sector of the uh as, as the same as the TV as well. Okay. It can be in the south, southwest, northeast sector. Mm-hmm. The painting is a bit uh chin because uh it, it, it depends it, on the correct, correct. the color of the painting. And if it's mm. if it's animals or what then then that is a different meaning altogether. Oh with animals we are. Oh,你我听过，呃，可以，可以，我听过一个东西啊，我可以讲一下啊，我可以讲一下啊，OK，所以，in my uh, not not exactly true lah. Yeah. So so, yeah. but but that is an effect of animals if you place it at home. Okay, that one maybe I'll cover okay, another day. in the upcoming sessions. Uh, upcoming so if session. you want to know more, okay, say. Maybe like if you have a question, you can tell him. Then he can prep for the next live also. True true. Okay, you want to ask more? Okay, any questions? Okay, talk to say tiger or eat you. <laughs> I mean, I'm fine now. Yo, okay. <laughs> So anyway, to be fair, there's a whole lot of information. I'm gonna go through a quick summary of all the tips that we have shared. But also, actually, a lot of our helpers are in our comment section. Every time you see something like this, go and comment on it. You will say, so John, you see the painting, whatever. Right? Actually, we will reply the same thing. Stop asking me. So we have a lot of nice people out there who comment right now. Thank you so much. Okay, so. These are a few of the summary that we have already debunked. So the myths that we have debunked are firstly, you can, can sleep facing the toilet. Mm. And then the second one, you can sleep when you face when you have the views. And then the third one, it's okay to face directly. Uh, doors, the door, door to, to door. face directly. Yeah. yeah. And then, oh, the one that's not okay is plants in the room. So it's better if you have plants in the room. I think that is also common photosynthesis knowledge as well. Okay. And also, we have some generic home trick tips for you in your bedroom. Uh, firstly, the clutter underneath your bed. And then secondly, uh, a bedroom that is too bright isn't good for you. And then thirdly, there's ventilation that is very important that should happen throughout the room for the chi. And also, keeps your fo- keep your phone away from you because your mother is right. Then we say, oh, you give us radiation. Uh. So, okay. And also, lastly, to wrap up all of this officious newfound knowledge that we have with them is Firstly, heat board position. This is only is aircon and fan position. Right. And lastly, is the sleeping position. That is actually the where position you put the of bed. the bed. Correct. Yeah, yeah, where you put the bed. So I think as long as he also shared a lot more about like your lamps, your TV, and all the other stuff. So all of this knowledge you can just screenshot from the comment section below as well, lah. And you also can watch our live streams. It's actually running. So if you want to know any of the tips or you miss the tips, you can always be watch to uh, here. And also. Right now, we have come to the end of last live. Okay. So, we actually look forward to meeting you guys. Same time next week on Friday. We'll be here also once again at Hope Kangkung to Lazada at um, Robinson, level 3 at Raffles City. So, you can, um, actually, you can come over and uh, check out the place as well. Not on Friday, uh, not on Friday. Uh. Okay, but you can come over and check out the place as well and um, check out all the stuff because the QR codes are already placed all over the place, so if you're interested in the product, you can always just switch. I mean, like scan it and buy it. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I think we actually reached to the end of the life. Any last words? Last. Last words. Uh. Sounds a bit inauspicious. <laughs> eh. 
<laughs> no, any. Are you gonna kill me after this? <laughs> <laughs> any closing statement? Uh, Anything you want to tell our viewers? Uh, enjoy your weekend. <laughs> enjoy your weekend. Yeah, okay. Everybody have a blessed and good Friday, okay? And good night, everyone. And thank you guys for being so helpful and so fun in the comment section below. Yeah. I think uh, I didn't realize too many about the people. It was only after I see that I was like, wow, see why you have a home tray. Yeah, see, yeah, so, you so much, right? Well, one of the person say, right, they create a wall at the window just to block the window or something. Yeah, 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 people do that. Yeah, so well, I was like, wow, very interesting. I've never heard about that before. Anyways. Very very glad to hear that Feng Shui is something that applies to your day to day life So that this life segment is very very apt for a lot of you guys out there So anyways, we'll be seeing you guys on Friday 8pm next week as well My name is Hayley I'm Vincent And we'll catch you soon again! Bye! Bye, -bye. Know your fate Master your destiny